The confrontation between the forces of this world plays itself out in a complex story of the events that unfold through the many machinations that men create by their various endeavors, composed of all sorts of intentions. To the public in general, things do not seem to have any particular pattern, nor does there seem to be much meaning behind most events. That for the average person, there is not much significant outside his daily coming and goings. But a careful examination of the interplay of these conflicting forces, reveals complicated, cleverly schemed operation, which displays the actually deeply meaningful course of reality. That life is the conception of a much more sophisticated wisdom than what we had previously envisioned. The following is a humble attempt to expose some of that reality. We are in a particular period in time, when darkness is predominating. Some of what you are about to watch may appear fantastic, but we must remember that our failure to apprehend such matters, is merely the sad fact of underestimating our own selves. We underestimate the potential for good and bad in human beings, because we underestimate ourselves. God created us with an intellect, but we fail to exercise it to its true potential. The capabilities of our intellect lie far beyond what we suspect. Welcome to the Solomon's Temple series. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولما جاءهم رسول من عند الله مصدق لما معهم مصدق لما معهم نبذ فريق من الذين اوتوا الكتاب كتاب الله كتاب الله وراء ظهورهم كانهم لا يعلمون واتبعوا ما تتلو الشياطين على ملك سليمان وما كفر سليمان ولكن الشياطين كفروا يعلمون الناس السحر وما أنزل على الملكين بباب وما أنزل على الملكين بباب لها روت وما روت وما يعلمان من أحد حتى يقولا إنما نحن فتنة حتى يقولا إنما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر فيتعلمون منهما ما يفرقون به بين المرء وزوجه وما هم بضارين به من أحد إلا بإذن الله ويتعلمون ما يضرهم ولا ينفعهم ولقد علموا لمن اشتراه ما له في الآخرة من خلاق ولبئس ما شروا به أنفسهم لو كانوا يعلمون ولو أنهم آمنوا واتقوا لمثوبة من عند الله خير لمثوبة من عند الله خير لو كانوا يعلمون The Masonic calendar traditionally dated from 4004 BC. The creation of the universe 
and Lundy, as computed by Archbishop James Usher in 1650. This was inserted by Bishop William Lord of Winchester as a marginal note in the Great 1701 edition of the English Bible, where it remained without explanation until 1900 when Cambridge University Press removed it from further editions. By the mid-18th century, Masonic usage had shifted to the Year of Light, Analusis, which dated from 4000 BC. There is no Masonic significance to either date, other than a desire by early Masonic writers to create as ancient a lineage for Freemasonry as their imaginations would allow. By using the 4000 date, they could claim that their usage predated Usher as promotion of the theory that Jesus had been born four years earlier than claimed by Dionysius Exiguus, the 6th century creator of the BCAD time system. The Masonic date adds 4,000 years to the currently accepted origins of the Christian era, or year of our Lord. It is less than three centuries off the date given by the Jewish calendar which, in its present form, dates from the 4th century BC and counts the years since zero the creation of the world according to its own reading of the Bible. This calendar is not accepted everywhere. The Masons of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite, and in particular those at the Great of Night Kadosh, use the Hebrew months and a calendar based on Jewish chronology, or Anno Hebraico, also known as Anno Mundi. This calendar begins in mid-September and adds 3,760 years onto the Gregorian calendar. According to the Masons, the Temple is an image of the world, and the beginning of the world establishes time. This time is known as, the Year of the Light, or Analusis.